I got my music in because fusing is boring, okay? It's boring. A few minutes later. The night in the night. welcome back to my channel so the Dyson hair dryer which is the most expensive hair tool that I have bought I have bought expensive flat irons I have bought hair steamers hooded dryers but this is the most expensive thing and the reason why I bought it personally is because I am afraid of heat damage <laughs> And I like read up on it. And, and honestly, I'm gonna be really honest. It's cute. It's really cute. The fact that it has a cold shoot. And the cold shoot stays. Cause like the thing that I hated about using a different blow dryer is the fact that you have to constantly hold down the air. Like that was so irritating. I have this blow dryer right here. I definitely feel like, you know, the weight. Like this one is way lighter, which comes in handy, especially if you have really long hair or really thick hair and it takes you a long time to blow dry your hair. And it's like, you know, your arms start hurting, like it's better. And it's supposed to be quieter, which we will test that. I mean, I feel like every blow dryer is different, but honestly, to me, it's still like, it's still loud. It's still like, you can't be like at one o'clock, like, like I'm about to do and be like, Oh, let me blow dry my hair. Like, it's still gonna be loud. But I'll test both of them so, like, you guys can actually hear it. Okay, guys, so this is the Dyson. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so it does have three heat settings, and it does have three settings as far as, like, how um, how much airflow is going through. So you can do like the low heat and then do like a low airflow. But I always do it on the highest airflow. But just for like right now of just seeing how loud it is, we're gonna put it on the highest airflow. So this is the on and off button and this is the cool shoot. So I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so that's basically it, which is still loud. It's still loud. This is the Con Air, which I have tried. I haven't diffused my hair with this, but um, so it's just the high low for the air, and then they have the hot, warm, and cool. And actually, with this cool shot, you don't have to press the button. And they have another one up here, which is weird. Maybe it's like you put it on cool and then you put it on more cool, so it just like takes three hours for your hair to dry. I don't know, but um. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty loud. I haven't used a regular hair dryer in a long time. So it also comes with like the detachable stuff and it's magnetic, which is like, it's cool to me, you know? Now they have the uh, actual comb detachment. I don't remember if they had it out when I bought it. I don't remember, but I definitely need to get that because I normally just use the other nozzles. So it came with this and it came with two other nozzles. And I don't remember, I don't think, no, I didn't pay for the bag or whatever container it came in because it all together was expensive. I just went on Amazon and I bought one. It's really cute. Put a link in the uh, description box to show you guys how I diffuse my hair. And it depends on what you want when you diffuse your hair. It depends if you want your hair to just mostly have volume and you don't care about length. But I do put length a little bit before it being bigger because it's gonna get big regardless. Like, it's gonna get real big, so we're okay with that. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I diffuse my hair without turning it on. But basically when I diffuse my hair, I just don't like just straight just do like this. Like when I learned how to diffuse my hair like this, it was too much shrinkage. So I don't do this. I know some girls be like, and I don't do that. I basically just do like that and kind of like stretch it. And then once it's like pretty much dry, then I'll go through and start doing that. But I'm gonna start diffusing my hair and then show you guys the results. Gonna get into the pros. So it says intelligent heat control that prevents extreme temperatures protecting against overheating which is a big reason why I got it. And it says that the hair dryer measures air temperature, regulates the heat, which prevents extreme heat damage and protects 
shine of the hair so it said something about your hair cuticle and it laying flat which reflects more light and it makes the appearance that your hair of course is healthier it also has 11 foot long cord and, and it doesn't get tangled but i feel like it should have that i feel like for 400 dollars, it should have a lot of stuff so you know if it didn't i'd be like okay we got some issues because i feel like 99 percent of hair tools nowadays that come out have the you know the swivel cord or whatever Okay guys, so it's almost dry, almost. Um, so what I decided to do was I did heat on this side and I did cool on this side. But the only thing is that it is late. So I had it on the second airflow, it wasn't the highest one. So it takes a minute, it, it takes a minute. I normally do heavy airflow and cool, but if I'm in a rush, then I'll do low heat and then I'll do heavy airflow. So yeah, it's just my roots. Okay guys, this is what it's looking like right now. So I realized that the cool side is a lot flatter than the side I used heat on, but it did take a while. Definitely when you do it, definitely do the highest airflow if you do cool because that's when it will take all day. I did kind of diffuse it a little crazy purposely because I want my hair to be bigger right now. So since like I kind of made it frizzy, I'm just gonna fix some pieces at the top and kind of separate my hair. I noticed like the more I separate it, the bigger it gets. Like I don't know if you guys can see it, but it did get a little frizzy. But honestly, I feel like that was on my part. Blow drying like I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of still like fluff it out. But any pieces that are like, I feel like too frizzy. I'm just gonna go over it. But in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. Of course, in my opinion, it's gonna be worth it. But to me, the con is definitely the price. The price is ridiculous, ridiculous. I feel like I put a lot of money in my hair. I invest in my hair, you know? So I'd rather spend more on a blow dryer and not have heat damage, then use like a beauty supply store like blow dryer or just a, like, I don't know, just like a bogus blow dryer. So to me, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I don't wanna go down that road again. So, you know, and that's why I bought it. I'm gonna show you guys up close. This is what we are looking like. We are looking, we are definitely looking defined.
um it's gonna definitely get bigger i try to like make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see like how my hair gets big but um yeah the way i diffuse is not gonna be like that anyway I like it though i really do and i have the gray in my hair the hair paint wax I don't know if I feel like it kind of came out, but go watch the video next. I don't know if I'm gonna upload this one first or the other one, but definitely go check it out. Comment if you feel like this blow dryer is worth $400. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe.